Last time in Edland, I made this. A mighty, um, well, smallish, but still kind of mighty for a starter base, I guess, treehouse. So if you didn't see that, make sure to head back in time and check that video out, as some fun little things happened during my first day on this server. Gonna make my way back inside. <clears throat> Ignore that. However, in this second episode, we need to get around to decorating the treehouse and make it a nice base to work out of. Because right now, it doesn't have any storage or useful crafting benches and furnaces and stuff, or even a nether portal, which are all essential elements of starting out well in Minecraft survival. And anyway, I enjoy making things look pretty for all of my 20 viewers. <laughs> Love you guys. The, what's this? I just came down from up in my base and spotted this egg. It's an egg. <laughs> well, that must mean that some neighbor of mine has given me a little something for Easter. <laughs> awesome. Should we check what's inside? Oh man, I hope it's chocolate. I didn't get much chocolate for Easter and the supermarket near me is all out because of the whole situation in the world right now. So fingers crossed, this is some sort of chocolatey goodness. Nope, but wow. Okay, what do we got? We've got lively wool. That's fantastic for building gold ingot. We got a bunch of eggs. It's <laughs> fantastic. Oh, that's that's 64 gold ingots. Okay, wow. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I nearly forgot to check out the book. Happy Easter! I'm sorry that it took so long for me to get to you. I've been very busy this year and got behind on the egg painting at my workshop. Here are some things to kickstart your spring. The Easter Bunny. Oh, that is lovely. We're going to have to figure out who gave us this so we can thank them. This is amazing. I can hear what you're thinking. Wait, Ed, your base is back that way. How are you going to decorate your base if you're not inside your base? And the thing is, I kind of need to go on a walk right now for some inspiration, as I haven't done any decoration creation in Minecraft for a very long time. So I'm using this opportunity to show you some of the other fine people that play on this server, starting with Yuppiesaw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> this build is fantastic. Thank you. So I haven't properly seen this yet because uh, I just kind of closed my eyes as I came by it before, <laughs> just to not ruin the surprise. But it's really good. Thank you. You, you told me it was kind of wonky the other day, but it isn't. It has, like, a lot of charm. <laughs> Character because of how wonky it is, yes, but, uh, yeah. No, it's great. Okay, do you want to show me around? I can do, yeah. Awesome. Yuppie showed me all around her home, and my gosh, this place is fantastic. She built a whole damn castle as a starter base with four different sections to it and various rooms in each corner tower. She also added a Viking longbow, which I love by the way, and the hot air balloon way up there is really sweet too. There are lots of cute little details like the strings of lanterns mimicking fairy lights, the small crenellations around the inner courtyard, and we'll just ignore those poor sheep that are clearly in distress. And this naughty little sign. <laughs> Winky face. I must admit it's pretty ballsy to decide to build in a swamp. Most people try to avoid them because they can look a little grim and dingy, but Yuppie has managed to make this swamp look super inviting. Before leaving, I had a cheeky request for Yuppie that will make sense to you later in the episode. Hopefully she says yes. This is great and I can see your library over there. Yeah. Which actually, Yuppie, mm. could, could I borrow it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> she said yes! Hooray! <laughs> well, I guess now it's time for some enchantments. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? Quite a successful bit of enchanting there. We have a fancy new bow, some fancy shoes. Obviously, I can't take off these pants, God damn it! Oh, how I wish I could take off these pants. I'm just gonna have to wait until they fall off by themselves. I'm gonna leave this little present here for Yuppie. And now let's get back to the base. I hope you enjoyed visiting Yuppie Saw as much as I did. She's clearly been super duper busy, which means we have a little bit of catching up to do. So let's not waste any more time and let's get this place decorated. Right, that's the last land in place and everything is done and the forest is also a little bit safer. I'm going to light up the inside of this egg too, because it's basically a mini mob farm inside of there. 
Well, that was nearly an explosion. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had to. Anyway, let's work our way back up the treehouse and I'll explain what I did as we go. I cleared all the chests out of this first level and made it into a rustic looking farm with some puddles of water, lanterns for lighting and some little barrels for storage. All very cute, but quite simple decorating really. Texturing is key for this to work out well. As we move up this second level, we have something a little more special. It's not finished yet, as I do not have a good source of leather. I may have to go and strike a deal with one of our neighbors. So I have used birch wood where the bookshelves will eventually go. And right on this spot here will be, you guessed it, an enchanting table. I've got a little chest around here for books, lapis and things, and I've decorated it with a few flowers. I'd like to get some proper grass up here eventually, I think too, or maybe podzel. Maybe leave a comment to let me know what you think would look good on the floor here. Moving up yet another layer, we have a tiny little alcove that I've decorated as if it's a little mushroom cave or something. Not much use to it, but I think it's cute. And the pièce de résistance, the cabin itself. So this is what it looked like before, and now we have this. I'm really happy with how this interior turned out because it's actually quite hard to work in a relatively small space like this one. I've kept the flowery natural theme going with all the potted flowers and this here spiky boy, no touchy. And also by using a lot of warm wooden tones. So we've got our barrels up along the top of the walls for storage, all nicely organized I might add. And then an arga type system here with a chimney. I swapped out the middle one for a blast furnace, just to add a bit of detail. There's now a double bed with bed stands made out of simple birch trapdoors. I placed them backwards though because I prefer the way it looks with the dark detail towards the wall. A nice calming painting up top and over here is a nice little addition. I have placed a crafting bench under this cabinet and also hidden a stone cutter. Then around the corner, there's a few flowers in item frames which really remind me of those decorative pressed flowers that nans and granddads seem to really like hanging up in their corridors. <laughs> then if we venture outside, you can see there are now some window platters made out of trapdoors and dirt that give some nice depth whilst looking out from the inside. And there you have it the whole of the transformation. I hope you like the way it looks. There are a few things I still need to make like a nether portal. Maybe that would be better in the basement or as some kind of ruins in the woods. But for now, I'm going to call that done because we've got something very important to do and we won't be doing it alone. We're fighting the dragon. That's right. We've banded together and we've made our way here to share out our ender pearls. No one has fought the dragon on this server yet, so it's an exciting moment because we all obviously want to get our hands on shulker boxes and elytra as soon as possible. That's why I was really counting on being able to enchant my gear earlier in the episode. I wouldn't want to be here with what I had on before, <laughs> that would surely be suicide. I streamed the journey and the fight on Twitch, so here's a quick recap for you. Let the mayhem commence. Now. For everyone who's building a bunch of crap in the background right now, you do realize that this is a reflection of our community right now. This is the first time we collaborate on something, and this is how it is. <laughs> Everyone's just following me. At least I can't be left behind that way. Okay, so so everybody, share out the stuff in the chest. I'll uh, I'll just take like some carrots and some steaks, and yeah, and let's uh, let's get going. All right, let's go. <laughs> it went that way. While this time lapse is speeding us along to our final destination, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who plays on the server. You are all amazing and it wouldn't be the same without you.
We might be getting close, so here we go. Oh, it's inside the Mesa. It just went inside that hill there. Ooh, mining time. Yep. All right, well, looks like we're ready to go then. We've got Hardy here, we've got Pikachu, we've got Bootix, we've got Phoenix, we've got Tinos, we've got Laser Ed, we've got Yuppie, we've got... Who have I missed? Blue Goldfishy, that's what I missed. And we got Jacko. Where's Jacko? Jacko? So, is everybody ready? I think we're all ready. You guys ready to fight? Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, jump! <laughs> all right, where are we? Where are we? Oh, oh, okay. Let's mine our way up carefully. Uh, here we go, all right. So. Gotta take some skill shots first. That's one. Two. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Oh, nice. Pikachu got it. Nice one, Pika. And there we go. We have the egg on top. So, the dragon has been defeated. So, we can all now travel to the end and uh, and collect elytras and get shulker boxes and do everything we need. Which is great. And here we go. <laughs> and as such, the dragon was slain. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that subscribe button because there's more on the way. Bye! Oh, so you got, yeah, you got chests on each layer then. Yeah. Are these, right, okay. Important question, are these chests organized, Yuppie? Look me in the eyes. They were supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> they were supposed to be. Awesome. Can we, can we hop over these from one to the other? Oh yeah, pro moves there. Pro moves.